Hi everyone, courtesy of Kratos Health, we will be demonstrating preparation and administration of an intramuscular injection. As you can see here, these are the primary supplies that you're going to need to both uh, prepare and administer your injection. We have uh, a syringe here uh, and two needles, one uh, 19 gauge here and one uh, 22 gauge one and a half inch needle and then also we have the three alcohol prep pads and um, our uh, medicine or solution in this case uh, today we have a B12. Whether you're injecting B12 or testosterone or some other vitamin injection, typically the preparation and administration process is going to be virtually the same for all intramuscular injections. The first step in preparing our injection for administration is going to be cleansing our vial. Um, in this case, this vial has already been opened. Uh, oftentimes you'll see that there'll be a metal cap on top of this uh, vial or a plastic cap. You would remove the cap. Uh, this is what you'll see. And this step is still gonna be the same. We're gonna take one of our alcohol prep pads and simply clean the top of that vial. And in this case, we can actually leave the alcohol prep pad on there while we continue to uh, assemble the rest of our supplies for administration. First, we will open our syringe. In this case today, we have a 3ml syringe. You're gonna start by opening the packaging. Um, in this case, we have a cap on the end of our syringe as you can see here that will keep the tip of the syringe sterile so we can set that down. Next we're going to use our 19 gauge needle uh, in order to withdraw our B12 from the vial. This is particularly helpful when you're using uh, a thicker solution such as a testosterone cypionate solution. In this case not necessarily required for the B12. However, we'll use the 19 gauge needle in order to demonstrate uh, switching needles as well. Okay, we'll start by opening our 19 gauge needle here. And when we flip this over, you can see here's the tip of the needle, here's the hub of the needle. We wanna make sure that when we're opening this that we don't touch or contaminate the hub of the needle and just peel back the wrapping. Next, we'll put this onto our syringe. This particular syringe has a cap on it. We'll remove the cap. Again, try not to touch the end of the syringe here where the hub is going to be connected to the syringe. We wanna make sure that we keep both of those uh, parts sterile. Now we can apply or screw on then needle onto our syringe and remove the wrapping from the needle. Okay, now we have our 19 gauge needle on our syringe ready to withdraw our B12. We can now take the alcohol swab off the top of our vial. Again, you don't want to touch the top of the vial here. We want to keep that sterile. We'll remove the cap from our needle. And we're going to place the needle into the vial. From here, we're going to withdraw one cc or one ml of B12. In this case, we're gonna draw back on the plunger until we get to that 1 ml mark. On this particular syringe, you're going to draw back until the first line of the plunger that we can see here is even with the 1 ml mark. And then we can withdraw our needle. If there is a little bit of air 
in the syringe. We can remove that by either pushing out at the end of the needle or you can actually do that while the needle is still in your vial. Next, we're gonna use the 22 gauge needle for our injection. So we will put the cap back on this 19 gauge needle, being careful not to stick yourself. We can now set this down while we open our 22 gauge needle. And again, same as the 19 gauge needle, we're gonna open this uh, at the end where the hub of the needle is. Again, paying attention to not touch the end of the hub of the needle in order to keep that clean. Next, we can unscrew our 19 gauge needle and set that down. And we will now apply or attach our 22 gauge needle onto the end of the syringe and remove the wrapping. We now have our B12 ready for administration. Okay, now that we have our injection prepared, we're ready for administration. First thing we're gonna do is clean the injection site with the alcohol swab. Making sure to thoroughly clean the area. Next we can uncap our needle. Most people do like to dart it past the skin. Once you're into the muscle, you're gonna to wanna to pull back on the plunger. You will likely see what looks like air coming back into the syringe, however, that's just a vacuum. If you do see a little bit of air in the syringe for an intramuscular injection, that's okay. Next, you're going to slowly inject into the muscle and then remove your needle. If you do see a little spot of blood, that's normal, nothing to be worried about. Usually we just clean that off with an alcohol swab. If you do continue to have a little bit of bleeding, you can always place a small bandage on the site. Oftentimes, after an intramuscular injection, it is a good idea to massage the site. You can do that with your fist or hand, and just massage the site for 10 to 15 seconds. This helps to disperse the solution and may help decrease any soreness following the injection. And that concludes our demonstration of preparing and administering an intramuscular injection. Thank you very much.